All right, so at this point, I'm assuming that most of you guys are at least somewhat aware of the LR UI Goku situation on Global, the uh, big shaft, if you will. Now, if you guys have been out of the loop, you guys missed the news, feel free to go check out my rant video from about two days ago where I break everything down. Now, last night, I made a post on Twitter where I asked people, in your opinion, what would be the best way for Bandai to fix this LR UI Goku situation on Global? I'm looking for some serious suggestions. I mean, I knew some people were gonna make their jokes, which is fine, but I really wanted to get a you know, real feel for what the player base, especially the Global player base, would find to be an acceptable resolution to this major shafting. And uh, we had a lot of responses, a lot of people took the time to comment on the post. So to all of you out there who did that, I really appreciate it. And why don't we start by checking out a few of the responses. Okay, so we got Abu here who says, honestly, I think Bandai should give us the amount of stones that was spent and refresh the step up banner. Okay, so I saw this a lot. A lot of people are saying they want a refund and also to give us back the steps that we already did. We also have a certified bro moment here, refund my stones. Neil says, ideally, I would like to see 200 stones and one rotation with doubled LR rates. Okay, so the second part sounds awesome, but Bandai has never done anything like that before, and I really don't see it happening, honestly, but 200 stones is a good amount, right? But honestly, I don't think 200 stones for most people is actually enough because if you think about it, most people have spent more than 200 stones at this point, right? Because one rotation is 200, three rotations is 600. A lot of people at this point have already done all three rotations, that's 600 stones. So even though 200 stones is a lot of stones, I mean, it's, it's not enough for those of us who have already done all three rotations and possibly even more summons on top of that, right? And we have Johnny here who says return any stone spent, reset the steps for those who summoned. Very similar answer to some of the other ones we've seen. Uh, John says refund stones used. Orion here says I believe that a full refund is in order. I myself only have done two steps on my first rotation, but when taking all of the factors and conditions of this case into consideration, it seems like a full refund for all summons performed is a fair way that will satisfy the player base. Jeremy Soto, it depends on if it was intentional or not. If it was, then I think one to five stones is good for not telling the players if it was a mistake, then anyone who summoned should be refunded. Okay, so first of all, thank you to Jeremy for the response. And there does seem to be a portion of the player base who still think that this might have been a mistake, okay? And to me, I just can't see that as a realistic possibility. Like, I don't think there is a 0.1% chance that this whole situation was an error or an oversight or whatever you wanna call it, right? Because Bandai and Akatsuki are fully aware of what this guy represents, okay? They know what LR Ultra Instinct Goku or just Ultra Instinct Goku as a character represents to the player base and just the Dragon Ball fan base as a whole. I mean, they know that Ultra Instinct Goku is one of, if not the largest moneymaker for them. They know that people go crazy for Ultra Instinct Goku every single time his name is mentioned, every single time a new unit is released in any of their Dragon Ball games, whether it be Dokkan, Legends, Fighters, so on and so forth. And the fact that it was only Ultra Instinct Goku that was removed from steps 1 to 4 as well as uh, slots 1 to 9 of step 5 and also the general banner after you're done your steps like he's just not available to be pulled anywhere except for slot 10 the guaranteed slot of step 5 and no other LR right like LR Kalen Khalifla is available everywhere LR Broly the tech one is available everywhere LR Nappa and Vegeta, LR Bardock, so on and so forth, they're all available to be pulled anywhere on the banner. The only one that wasn't available was LR Ultra Instinct Goku. I mean, just think about that for a second, right? Like, do you realistically think that there was any chance that they accidentally removed just this one unit? The main reason that a lot of people summoned on the step-up banner because they thought that they had a very good chance, or at least a much better chance than normal, to get him. I mean, it just, like, I can't see it. Nobody can convince me that Bandai and Akatsuki accidentally forgot to include him 
in steps one to four and most of step five and also the general banner. I mean, I just, I won't believe it. Moving on to Mario here, he said they should do one of three things. Refund the stones used plus at least 30 stones for the mistake, doubt. Two, give us 75 plus stones for the shaft with a few nice items. Okay, or give us our either a free rotation or give us two free goes at least. Um, I think he means either, yeah, one or two free multis on the banner. Okay, so we got Curtis here who says, I think no one will get refund. Unfortunately, they won't do it. My idea is everyone gets 200 stones for a new updated banner and we get so many apologize. Okay, Mitch says either a compensation of stones spent on the banner. So if someone did all three steps, they get 600 stones back or completely free step up round. We got bootleg here. I believe 50 to 100 stones would make me happy. Half rotation seems reasonable and if players wanted, could save it for another banner anyway. If I could choose anything, I'd say just drop UI Goku in everyone's boxes. Okay, so we have been getting a few of these responses as well where people just say, yo, give us a free Ultra Instinct Goku. I can guarantee you that's not happening. It's just, it's just not, it's not gonna happen. Um, but it's a very nice idea. I gotta give him that. We got Korod here. The best way, refund everyone's stones, fix the banner, give us 10 stones for this, and let us redo the rotations. What'll probably happen, fixing the banner, and then give us three stones and apologize. If they wanna do right by the community, they know what they gotta do though. Dark Yoshi, how many people went in thinking they have a chance at every step for him and saved their stones or bot stones? Plus putting him as the face of the announcement of the whole thing is misleading. False advertising maybe, but they had some idea on what they did. This is exactly what I'm trying to say. Okay, there is no way, there is no way that this was an accident. I mean, if they had given us some kind of prior warning, right? If they had given us some kind of a notice in the news saying, hey, UI Goku specifically won't be available on the banner except on the final guaranteed step. As the guaranteed LR, you have a 1 in 15 chance of pulling him three times on the banner and then you're done, there's no more UI Goku. I still would have been upset about it for sure, right? Because that's still not the same as the JP banner, at least for him specifically. So I would have been, you know, angry as a global player, but nowhere near as upset as I am right now when they didn't give us any prior warning, when a lot of people went into the banner under the assumption that UI Goku was available anywhere on the banner and uh, only to find out that he wasn't and only to find out that we had to actually go through, you know, the featured pool or the unfeatured pool rather ourselves manually for us to find this out. And it's just super shady, you know, it's just super, super dirty on the part of you know, Akatsuki, like this is not how you should treat your player base, your customer base, the people that, you know, pay the bills, right? And I know, I know that people are going to say, oh, you know, JP pays the bills way more, you know, JP contributes a lot more to their bottom line. But, you know, global players are still paying, right? Global players are still spending a good amount of money on their game. And I don't care if we contribute less, that's still our hard earned money. And we still don't deserve to be treated like this, you know? Anyways, uh, moving on here, we got a lot of very similar comments here. Some people saying, uh, you know, 50% refund. Some people are saying reset the banner with boosted rates. Some people want free multis. Some people are flexing their multis where they pulled UI Goku anyways, despite the issue. <laughs> Shout out to Cat for that. And uh, let's see what else we got. So it seems like, it seems like a lot of people are just saying, yeah, give us a refund, give us a refund, give us a refund. I'm trying to see if there's anything different here. Uh, last breath, we apologize for any inconvenience. All players will receive one stone. A refund is the only way. Nothing will happen. Let's be real here. Uh, give us a free step. Wait, what happened? There was a situation. Yeah, some people are still a little bit confused about exactly what happened. Once again, go check out the rant video to uh, find out, all right, if you're confused. Um, so yeah, here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. Obviously, a lot of people have some very similar ideas and I tend to agree with most of you guys, you know, like in my mind, the only acceptable way, the only acceptable resolution to this situation is to fully refund every single stone that people have spent on this banner. Okay, like I'm not asking for any stones on top of that, but I do think a refund is in order, if for nothing else, but to maintain consistency, you know, because when something like this happened in the past, I mean, there hasn't been 
an exact situation like this before, but something that I would consider to be similar is when they accidentally put the, I believe, Token Awakened art of uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly on one of the banners instead of the Unawakened art, they decided to refund all the stones because, you know, some people might have summoned under the impression that they would get the Token Awakened version of Broly immediately from the banner as opposed to the Unawakened version, right? And I think that this is actually much more serious because it seems like a much more shady situation. You know, it seems like something that Bandai intentionally did and we're just hoping that nobody would catch them. And obviously we did, right? But it just, I don't know, like just as a global player, I feel like we've been wronged in a pretty serious way, you know? And it's not like it's something that hasn't happened before. We had a very similar situation when a Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly, or sorry, um, no, the Tech LR Broly, wasn't included on the LR Androids banner during the 300 million download celebration when he was a global first and was on JP's banner and it made no sense but I feel like this is even worse because they did include UI Goku on the promotional images for the celebration and he was clearly supposed to be a draw for the step up banner and they made it much harder to pull than any other unit on the banner without any prior warning and you gotta consider that there are some people out there who did their three steps or three rounds, didn't get him, and then continued to summon on the banner because they thought they had a chance to maybe pull him as an unfeatured LR when there was zero chance, not even like a 0.01%, but 0.000% chance. He wasn't on the banner. And some people might have continued to buy stones, might have continued to give money to Bandai, under the impression, under the pretense that they could potentially pull UI Goku. And that's why a lot of people are so upset about this. I mean, I've heard people say, oh, it's just a game, move on. But nah, man, this is a lot more serious than maybe your initial impression, right? Like, oh, it's just a, you know, Dragon Ball game on your phone, who cares, it's not a big deal. But there are people out there who spent serious money and you know, tried to pull this UI Goku, and he is, once again, clearly the main draw of the banner. He is clearly the main reason, or one of the big reasons why a lot of people summoned on this banner, and these people spent serious cash, you know, their hard-earned money under false pretenses, or at least were misled into believing that they had a much better chance of pulling this unit than they actually did. And if things were equal between both versions, like if this was the same thing on JP where UI Goku wasn't available for most of the banner except for the guaranteed step, then I would find it easier to accept. I'd be like, that's weird, why would you do that? Like it doesn't make any sense, but at the very least, then all players would be under a similar situation, right? But this was only for the global side, and there are many players that get their information about what's happening on global from the JP side, right? So maybe they saw that people were pulling UI Goku in the non-guaranteed step, steps one to four, or slots one to nine, up step five on the JP version, and it would be very reasonable to assume that the same thing could be applied to the global side. But instead, global was treated differently and UI Goku was treated differently. Once again, without any prior warning, without any kind of notice in the game to tell us that this was a thing, and we had to find out by ourselves by manually going through the scouter, which I just don't think should be a thing. I just don't think that the onus should be on us as the players to uh, figure this out. Okay, now, since my rant video, there has been somewhat of a response from Bandai. Um, I wouldn't really call it a serious response. Basically, you know, people have been sending in angry letters and complaints to the official uh, Bandai contact page, and they essentially said, uh, this is an issue we're aware of, and we're looking into it, and that's it. You know, please wait for further information, please wait for a response, and I'm expecting a more detailed response from Bandai probably within the next couple of days, I would say sometime next week, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. You know, it is the holidays, so we still got to give them a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, I do expect somewhat of a more elaborate response from Bandai within the coming days. And uh, I'm not really sure what to expect from that, man. I'm not really sure what they're going to say. I mean, in my mind, I feel like it's going to be the same thing as the tech 
Broly situation where they just say, you know, the banner is as intended. We meant to screw you guys. Obviously not in those exact words, but that would be the meaning of the letter, right? So I'm kind of expecting something like that, but that would obviously not be acceptable at all. Okay, I'm basically looking for three things from Bandai. Number one, refund all of the stones we spent on the step up banner. Number two, adjust the banner to include UI Goku on every step as well as the you know general banner after and potentially reset the banner overall so that everybody has a chance to summon again on the steps. And number three, I want a formal apology, man. Like I just want them to acknowledge that they did something wrong. I want them to acknowledge that they treated the global side unfairly and maybe make a commitment to not doing something like that in the future. I mean, look, I know a lot of people are gonna tell me that I'm asking for too much, but I think that this is really the only acceptable resolution to the situation. Like, I'm I'm honestly really upset about it, man. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty heated about the situation. And it goes beyond just the game. It goes beyond just like, you know, Dokkan, right? Like, this is, this is just not right. You know, it's not proper business ethics, in my opinion. So uh, I hope that Bandai does the right thing. I hope that they make the right moves, you know, and they do right by the global side. And uh, if nothing else, if they can't meet those three requests, then at the very least, refund our stones, right? I mean, a lot of people did summon under misleading circumstances, and I think that is the least they could do. To me, that wouldn't be enough. I do want them to acknowledge, you know, what they did was wrong, but you can't ask for too much, right? So I think a refund is more than reasonable. And uh, once again, fixing the banner and resetting the steps would be a really nice gesture. So that's pretty much all I gotta say for today's video, guys. Um, we're gonna stay tuned for more information, more details from Bandai themselves. Hopefully they give us a nice response within the next few days, but uh, no matter what the response is, whether it's positive or negative, whether you know they acknowledge it or not, um, I'll keep you guys posted in the next video. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again to everybody that decided to respond to the post and uh as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.